Luna, you are stinking by the way. Stop farting. Whew. Right, yo folks, this is us just arriving. We have just left the Lynn of D car park and we're heading to the Red House Boffy, which is Scotland's newest boffy. It opened in December 2022, I believe, and I thought I'd just let the hype calm down a little bit. A year and a half on, I'm now going to head in for the evening, hopefully, with the dog and see what it's all about. When you're making your way along the track, keep your eyes out for these uh, townships. These have been left for the highland clearances. Everybody was just swept off the land and replaced by sheep grazing. And this is all that remains today, is these tiny little settlements that are dotted all over the highlands of Scotland. Quick update folks, this structure behind me is the White Bridge, from here we keep on going to the Red House Boffy, but you can also head north to the Larry Grew and the Career Boffy as well, so we do have a couple of options here, obviously we're going to go to the Red House, so let's go. It's a small world folks, I just met another YouTuber there, his name is Scottish Summiteer, a young guy. He's doing a through hike from Blair Athol to Braemar, I think he said. And uh, he said the boffy's empty as well, which is a Brucey bonus. It's nice to get in first and get set up. So, uh, yeah, not too far now. I'm going to push on. Well, 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 look at this. This is rather nice. Wow. Oh, look at the picnic bench and everything. Super boss. And then through the other room, we've got the bunkhouse. Pick your bunk, Luna. I'm leaving you through here. <laughs> Wow, this is stunning. What a job they've done. Before we settle down, what I'll do is I'm going to show you the shower and toilet block, which is just next door. Tell you what, they've done a fantastic job here. So let's go. Looking forward to a hot shower tonight. There you go folks, compost and toilet. Flextail have kindly sent me a new mattress to try out. It's the Flextail Zero mattress and it's got an R value of 5. So this apparently is good down to minus 7. So I'm looking forward to trying that. As you can see it's a little bit bulkier than what I'm used to. But that said, this will cover some of your sort of milder winter nights if we can go down to minus seven, so that isn't bad at all. So I've got that to try out tonight. The only thing I'm worried about is I've yet to try this out. I've not even had it out of the packaging yet, so this is its first time of use. At least I've got a puncture repair pouch just in case. Right, so I've got the Flex Tail Zero Pump with me. Lena, down, 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 down. Test that dog. This is a beast of a mat, look at that. That looks very comfortable. I will report back in the morning and let you know how I get on with this, but I'm looking forward to it. It looks good. Yeah. 
Just waiting for my mac and cheese to hydrate. Two other guys have arrived as well. The fire's going. Sorted. Hey, you're tired. That is some heat. Yeah. Seriously. Some of you might remember when me, Kevin, Lee and Stevie camped outside this buffet. God, that must have been, oh, I say 2018 maybe. But yeah, we were all pitched just in the front of the buffet here. Right here, all tents all squeezed in. I always remember this was just a shell. The roof was intact, but there was holes in the wall. And yeah, it was basic, no windows, no nothing. The job they've done is absolutely fantastic. It really is. Little sponge of Cheers. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you. Mm. Yeah, good. Yeah. Cheers. Breakfast is served. Hey pal, you for juice as well. There were sheep on the other side of the river there. I was just making sure she didn't go after them. She's got quite a strong prey drive being a terrier. But anyways, yeah, that was a good boffy night. Really enjoyed that. John and James, they came in later on, they're doing a, a through hike from Aviemore to Blair Raffle and they were good company last night. The uh, Flextail mattress was really comfortable, it's a bit of a beast, plenty room for me and the dog and um, yeah, got a good night sleeping in it. My only complaint so far is it's just a little bit slippery that material, I don't know why they always make mattresses so slippy. But anyways, I'll get out and I'll test on a wild camp, see how it it fares on more rougher ground but yeah, first impressions I really like it but anyways, me and the dog we're just walking back to the car now so I'm just going to wrap this up if you've watched this far, thank you very much I'll leave a couple of extra boffy videos here you might like to watch otherwise, I'll catch you next one, cheers!